The United States Army has just taken delivery of Canoe's new light tactical vehicle, LTV, for analysis and demonstration. The EV startup received the contract from the military last July and says the LTV is engineered for extreme environments and includes stealth configurations. To be more precise, the modified EV truck boasts carbon Kevlar for additional strength without adding weight. It can also be converted from a pickup into a flatbed truck and a cargo vehicle. Canoe claims this convertible flatbed platform allows the LTV to carry cargo like plywood, construction materials, ah, of course, tactical equipment for a wide variety of missions. Along with the interchangeable flatbed, the startup's proprietary modular attachment system can accommodate numerous types of mounts, such as racks, ramps, storage boxes, tents, and more. This cost-saving design measure obviously appealed to the military. The LTV also features all-wheel drive with upwards of 600 horsepower and has air springs, a raised suspension, and 32-inch all-terrain tires for rugged and extreme situations. The U.S. military has not confirmed if it'll order additional examples, but Canoe is not the only manufacturer the armed forces find appealing. Also last summer, the military asked General Motors to build a GMC Hummer EV-based vehicle for analysis and demonstration as well. Aside from the military, Canoe has also been making deals with companies, specifically Walmart. Last July, Walmart placed an order for 4,500 examples of the Canoe lifestyle delivery vehicle. Canoe is expected to begin production for Walmart by the end of this year with deliveries getting underway in 2023. Also last summer, the company confirmed its electric vans will transport Artemis NASA astronauts to the launch pad for their moon voyages. Canoe was established in 2011 and went public in 2020. Until fairly recently, it suffered several financial setbacks, including losing an investment deal with Hyundai. For a time, many assumed Canoe was finished, but it managed to quickly rebound. It currently aims to begin EV production for civilian use at its new Oklahoma City facility early next year, 